One of the most common questions I hear is, what causes a pinched nerve? So let's talk about those causes, but first let's talk about what a normal spine should look like. Here is the disc of a good spine. There's the nerve. There's a lot of, uh, there's actually a lot of um, space for that nerve to run through and that keeps it out of trouble. Now let's look at the flip side of that disc. You can see there's the hard covering, there's a the jelly in the middle you hear about that can come out, but here there's a lot of space here, there's a lot of space here, so this is also a very good disc. Here's the corresponding MRI, a lot of white signals, that's good, that means that disc is real hydrated, that means that it's going to stay nice and thick and provide a lot of space for the nerve so it won't pinch. There are four ways that I see all the time that cause the nerve to get pinched. So let's take a look at those now. The first way is the spine moves out of alignment. That could be from a car wreck or a slip or a fall, bad posture, and it never got fixed. And so what happens is when it moves out of alignment, the diameter for that hole gets smaller and it pinches the nerve. That can cause uh, back pain, it could cause neck pain, it could cause headaches. Now let's look at the x-ray on that. Here's the x-ray. You can see this is an x-ray of the lower back and that's out of alignment and that's one way to tell if the spine's out of alignment is an x-ray. So that's going to pinch the bottom nerve which can lead to low back pain. Okay, here's another way. Uh, the a second way is the disc uh, ha has a bulge in it. There's a bulging disc, or some people call it a slip disc, but you can see it's coming back and hitting that nerve. Now here's the other view of that. You can see there's the jelly, right, and it's coming back and it's pushing this rubber material right into that nerve. So that's another look at that. There's the corresponding MRI. I've got the arrow and that's pointing. There's the bulge right there bulging out, hitting the nerve. So someone like this might have back pain and leg pain because there's a lot coming down on that nerve. Now here's a herniated disc. These are the kind a lot of times that lead to surgery. But you can see the jelly has actually come clear out of that covering and that's pinching that nerve. And there it is on MRI. You can see it's sticking out there like a sore thumb. This might cause back pain, leg pain, might even cause loss of reflex and muscle weakness, which can uh, oftentimes those kind of cases go to surgery. So we have bad alignment, we have bulging discs is the second one. The third one is degenerated discs. You've probably heard of that word. And what that ha the reason that happens is because the person never really took good care of their disc. They might have taken medicine their whole life and they never got good mechanical care to the disc to make sure the nutrients kept coming in. And so the disc basically ride it out. Now let's look at um, an x-ray with this. There's the, there's the degenerated disc. You can see that on an $80 x-ray pretty easy. But if we look on a uh, $1,500 MRI, you can see, look at the, um, look how black and dark that space is, the disc space is. That's because that disc is drying out because it never got good nutrition to it because it wasn't taken care of. And when that disc degenerates, the bones drop down and they make the hole too small for the nerve. And that can cause things like back pain, neck pain, pain down the legs, those kinds of things. The fourth, um, the fourth cause is the bones get arthritic. And you can see these rough edges. Well, these rough edges kind of go all the way around the spine and they can actually interfere with that nerve. Those jagged edges, they'll push in on that nerve. Uh, here is a uh, x-ray of that. You can see all these bone spurs sticking out. This part's real arthritic in the back and that hole is gradually getting closed up and that nerve's getting pinched. People like this oftentimes have back pain and they have pain down both uh, gluteal uh, areas and both legs. So they, it will actually go down both legs. That's one way to kind of uh, differentiate, say, this from bad alignment. And here's the uh, corresponding MRI. This is just a disaster. There's the disc on, it's collapsed, more bulges. There's more arthritis in the back. Uh, this is a, uh, what we call stenosis. 
And um, these give people those problems I was talking about, pain in the back, pain down both legs. It's hard to uh, walk upright with a disc like this. So you'll see them uh, putzing around in Kroger's. They'll be uh, holding on to the uh, cart like this because they cannot stand up on a spine like this. It won't take it. Those are the four reasons nerves can get pinched. I'm Dr. Graham, the back pain professor.